Okay, this is going to be a 2005 Chevy Cobalt. Hope testing the GM CAN circuit. What we're looking at here is a graphing multimeter on the bottom. It is connected to the data link connector, pins 6 and 14, which is the high speed CAN network. You can see that it's currently at 60. Go, 62 ohms of resistance, which is normal. Two 120 ohm terminating resistors in parallel gives me 60 ohms approximately of resistance. So 62 is just fine. What's directly above it, right here, power steering control module, electric power steering in this car. This is where I believe our problem lies. The small wires on the block here, on my high speed can, the two tan wires come back to the data link connector. The two black wires, they're actually brown, <clears throat> carry across to the body control module. In theory, we should never see the resistance change above 62 ohms on the circuit. But let's just perform a wiggle test and see what happens. You can see right away, just this very minimal movement is causing a considerable fluctuation. Look at the one peak we had when I saw it go over 70. I'm going to reach around from the back side. And if I get more aggressive with this, give it a little tug and pull. We should be seeing nothing. And we're seeing a pretty good amount of movement. Our first step is we're going to use deoxid on the connector. And I'll do the same test, show the deoxid going in, and try to do the same test with the deoxid in place. See if I get those same fluctuations on the meter.